Okay, good afternoon. Um, just gonna let some more people kind of come in, make sure we're all good. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. I'm trying out a new microphone today, so let me know in the comments if there's uh, any like cutting in or anything like that. Welcome, uh, I'm Avalon. Uh, I am your fitness and sports instructor leading you through today's workout uh, from CFB Suffield. West in the comments is going to be helping me out, making sure you're monitoring through the comments, making sure you guys are all good. Uh, he's also a fitness and sports instructor at CFB Suffield with me. Um, I will try and monitor the comments best that I can um, and just kind of Make sure that you guys have any modifications that you require. We make sure you guys are all covered. Um, please take a look at the disclaimer in the description uh, before we get started and have a look at the board so you know what you're in for for today. Um, again, feel free if you can't hear me, trying out this new mic. Uh, hopefully it's good. Hopefully you don't have to listen to me huff and puff too much. <laughs> Um, any calf members, if you become injured during today's session, please fill out ACF 98. Um, and don't forget to check out our schedule on calf connection. I believe West dropped in the comments um, the link for that. You'll catch us every Thursday at 1500 hours, but there's different workouts broadcasted from across the country, from PSP, here to help you guys stay operationally fit. Now on to today's workout. Basically, we're gonna get on a really good sweat, fatigue those muscles a little bit, work our cardiovascular system, that's kinda number one. Um, it's 40 minutes, so I'm not gonna take up too much of your day, yay. Um, equipment that you need, kettlebell, a mat, and a pillow. If you have a pull-up bar, use that great, you can do pull-ups. If not, like I don't, we're going to use a sliding technique to work your lats today. If you don't have a sloughed, like smooth surface, you have carpet, do a bent over row instead, okay? I'll kind of go into that in a little bit more detail in a second. Um, feel free to play whatever music you want. I won't be playing any so that you guys can actually hear me. <laughs> so make sure you have your motivation ready. Um, and make sure you're good to go. Make sure you got your equipment, make sure you've got water, you're gonna sweat a lot. <laughs> I know I am anyway. So make sure you're staying hydrated. Uh, I'm just gonna take a quick peek before I demo here. Hi Carrie, Hannah, nice to see you guys. You to see me, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, let's go through this. So each lettered sequence, is three exercises. There is a primal movement, there's a core exercise, and then there's a cardio exercise. Each one you're going to be doing as many rounds as you can in three and a half minutes. So the first one, A, you're gonna do six push-ups. So just a regular push-up, down all the way and up. Six of those. You're gonna do a plank with a shoulder tap. So again, keeping your shoulders down, core nice and tight, you're going to tap either your elbows or your shoulders. If you're wiggling your booty too much, widen your stance. If that's too hard, go on your knees. But if you're going on your knees, make sure you're not like this. Drop those hips forward and challenge that core engagement. Again, we don't want to round. Uh, then you're going to mountain climbers. Again, holding that nice straight plank, mountain climbers. So six push-ups, 12 plank shoulder taps, 24 mountain climbers. Repeating that for three and a half minutes, we get 60 seconds rest, and then we go on to B. B is your goblet squat. Grab a nice weight, squat into it, six of those. 12 in and out crunches. So in, out all the way, and back in. If that's too hard, put your hands back, out, and back in. If that's too hard again, put your feet down, do a regular crunch. That's easy, all the way out into a V-up, okay? I'll be doing in and outs, 12 of those. 
Then you're up for high knees. 24 of these, none of this. Get those knees up, try and bash your, knee, your face into your knee, okay? Um, 60 second rest after your three and a half minutes. Lat slides, these are a new one. So, you, you're gonna lay on your pillow, arms up overhead, you're going to engage your lats, pulling yourself across the floor like you're doing a pull up, okay? You should feel your lats engage. Hopefully, you can see, so you're like this. Pulling forward, trying to keep your shoulders open, trying not to round, and then you're gonna push yourself back. That's gonna work your front deltoids. So lats, front delts, kinda like you're doing an overhead press, okay? Again, if you have a pull-up bar, do pull-ups. If you don't have either, grab a weight or two and do bent over rows. Okay, but I wanna see you try and work those lat muscles today. Once you've done six of those, you're gonna go into your Superman. Again, thumbs to the ceiling, engage your lats and your rhomboids, engage your glutes, hold. Down, 12 reps of these. 24 jumping jacks. Pretty easy. 60 second rest of that three and a half minutes. Kettlebell swings, swing, fling, keeping your core tight, making sure you're powering this movement through your glutes and your hamstrings. Six of those, 12 bicycle crunches, making sure you're crunching over, legs out straight, really feeling the contraction. You're not flinging your body around, control, okay? Uh, if that's really hard and you have issues with that, you can go into a bird dog, arm out, crunch in. Arm out, crunch in. And burpees, because I'm evil, we're gonna do six burpees though, not 24, because I'm not that evil. Okay, so a burpee, up, down on the floor, all the way, and back up. Three and a half minutes, that's our workout for today. Um, make sure you grab a drink before we get started and we'll get our warm up going here. Hey Matt, hopefully you guys are ready. Let me know, drop a comment. Nice to see you've got quite a bit of you today. All right, we're gonna get into our warm up here. Uh, we are going to start with some arm circles, okay? So just kind of march in place and get those arms going. Nice and smooth. Okay, just loosening up those shoulders. And we're gonna go backwards. It's a nice easy warm up, right? Okay, you're going to plant your right foot. You're going to swing your left leg forward, break it on the way back and swing back, okay? We're gonna do eight swings per side. If you can't balance, hold on to something. No shame in that. Keeping your core tight, you're not arching those back, right? Just loosening up those little hip muscles. And then we're gonna switch sides, eight on this side. Eight, good. We're gonna do some little hops, okay? Topping on the spot, pumping up those calves, getting the heart rate up there. Ready for a good workout. Okay, we are going to go into some side leans. So you're gonna reach up, lean to the side, exhale on your lean, okay? Two more on each side. Again, let me know if I'm huffing into the mic too much. I will do my best not to. I'm going to be breathing heavy though. Uh, Kozaks. So, 
one foot is up, the other one is bent, down as low as you can, just loosening up those hip muscles for those squats, those burpees, making sure you're all good to go. One more on each side, just for good measure. Good. We're gonna go into a Spider-Man. So grab a plank position, bring your right leg up to your right hand, rotate toward the ceiling on that right side, and same with on the left. We're gonna do this three times per side again as well. Apparently I really like threes and sixes, even numbers, I guess. And one more on each side here. Perfect. Um, butt kicks. So right up to your butt. Hopefully you're starting to feel warm. Get that first initial bit of a sweat going. Keep going with these just a little bit longer. Good, we're gonna do something called a scapular push-up. So you're gonna be in a push-up position. You're just gonna work those muscles to bring your shoulder blades together and apart, okay? If this is too hard, you can also do it off a wall, just like this, okay? So push away and bring your shoulder blades together. Away and together. It's just gonna engage those muscles so you know how to be in the proper position for our planks and our push-ups. Making sure your back is fired up for those lats as well. And good form on our squats and our kettlebell swings as well. Back is really, really important, right? Okay, that is it for our warm-up. We're gonna get started. I've got my timer here. Grab a quick drink. Remember, it's three and a half minutes for each session. So after each one, you get a minute rest. I want you to drop how many rounds you got in. Um, you should get three. Maybe start it on your fifth if you're really, really pushing. Um, yeah, so get me a drop in the comments. Try and keep up with me. Try and beat me, actually. Shouldn't be that hard. <laughs> um, so I know where you guys are at. And on that 60 seconds, make sure you're grabbing a nice drink of water. Awesome, okay, hopefully you guys are ready. I'm ready, I think. Maybe not for the burpees, but uh, ready as I'm gonna be, right? Just gonna move a couple things here so I don't knock anything over. And we're gonna start in 10 seconds, okay? Timer is going on. And in five seconds, so you're in your push-up, plank with a shoulder tap, and mountain climbers. Six, so six push-ups, right? Down and up. If these are too hard, go off your knees, go off on an incline. Six, plank with a shoulder tap, you're doing 12 of these, right? Wide legs if you need them. Try not to wiggle your booties. Keep that nice, strong, structured position. Seven, 12. And mountain climbers, 24 of them. Again, keeping that strong position as fast as you can get through them. Keep your butt down. And 24. Keep going. Three and a half minutes. We are a minute in. So we have a lot more to go. Again, if you need to, go off your knees like so or upright. Oh, sliding everywhere. One more. Blank with a shoulder tap. Your shoulders are going to burn after this one. I know. It'll be worth it. OK, 
Control these as much as you can. It's not about speed necessarily. It's about good form. 12. Mountain climbers for 24. Two minutes in, minute and a half left, guys. Killing it. I know you are. I'm already sweating. Shoulder taps. Again, if you need to, drop on those knees, but make sure your hips are down as you're doing it, right? Okay? Or widen your stance. And then your mountain climbers for 24. We're on a minute left, guys. Push through. Round. 30 seconds left, okay? Bang out as much as you can. Shoulder taps, 20 seconds left. Hopefully, shoulders are burning as much as mine. Seven seconds, as much as you can. time. One minute rest here, right? Let me know how many you guys got through. Keep me updated. Did you beat me? I think I did three. Started my fourth, I think. 40 seconds left. I'm dripping. Goblet squat, six. In and out crunches, 12. High knees for 24. 20 seconds left of your minute rest. Make sure you're catching your breath. Whew. If you have a towel, which I should have grabbed, make sure you're wiping off. We got 10 seconds, okay? Your chest is fired up, right? Shoulders, make sure you're keeping your back engaged on these. Nice little squats, okay? So try and rip the kettlebell apart, essentially. It'll help you light up your back. We're into it. Three and a half minutes. Six squats, 12 in and outs, 24 high knees. Those in and outs now. 12 of them. All the way down, all the way up. Use your hands if you need. It's up to you. It's your workout. Work as hard as you can. Good. High knees for 24. Carrie, you got three. That's awesome. Matt, I want to know how many you got on the next one, okay? Use your break. Let me know. Back into those squats. Six of them. Gauge your back. Everything's tight. Your hips are gonna burn on this one. It's a lot of in to your chest with the knees and then out, right? It's almost strategic. In and outs for 12. Two minutes remaining. honeys hips hip flexors are lit up already again keeping those knees up high core tight 
Back into those squats. We have a minute 30 left. Come on. Feel like I'm slacking a little. Twelve in and outs. I want to know how we're doing on this last round. Maybe another round actually. Still have a minute. High knees. 24. Come on guys. You can do it. Hopefully you're ahead of me. You guys aren't wimps, right? Nah, you got this. 24, come on, 36 seconds. Bang on as much of this round as you can. I know you got it in you. Woo! Six, come on. 24 seconds. See if we can finish. because you're counting so many different numbers. You can have something like poker chips, set them off to the side. That helps. Have a stack, unfinished, finished. Move them over to your finished pile after each round. That helps. We have 23 seconds left. Three and a half there. Out of me, Matt. All that running is keeping your cardio up there, eh? Whew. 13 seconds, goes by fast. We're doing our lat slides, our Superman, and our jumping jacks, okay? Or your pull-ups, or your bent over rows, whatever you've got, work with it. Okay, we're going in three seconds. Okay, so slide forward, engaging those lats, engaging those deltoids up. Keeping your chest open, pinching those shoulder blades down and back, bring those lats down. Push, pull. Those shoulder blades should be going into your back pocket, right? Woo! Ah, good, six of those. Supermans, 12. Thumbs to the ceiling, up. Give me everything as tight as you can, right? Four jacks. Arms strong, no flimsiness. Moments like this, I wish my AC wasn't so loud. <laughs> it's really hot. I have it on if I could. All right, six lat slides, come on. Pull and push. It seems easy. Seems like it's not doing much, but really focus those muscles, right? Nice and slow. Again, it's not about speed, it's about feeling those muscles. Really pushing into the floor, really pulling yourself forward. No helping with your feet. That's cheating. One more, come on. Woo. 12 Supermans. Lighting up that whole posterior chain. Really feeling it in the glutes, your shoulders, especially after those lat slides, right? And all those plank positions we just did. Good, 
four jacks. A minute left. Whew. Twenty-four. Forty seconds. Let's try and get some more done. Carrie, you got three again that time. Awesome job. You're killing it, my dear. Woo! Got one more. Oh, my shoulders. You're gonna hate me today. Superman's. 11 seconds. Keep going. Awesome job, you guys. Whew, how am I so fast? It's crazy. How many did you guys get? I was on my third. Transitioning from those slides are a lot. Pull up would probably be a little easier on that. Anyway, we've got kettlebell swings, bicycle crunches, and burpees, okay? I'm gonna do that for this one. 30 seconds, make sure you grab a drink. Make sure you're hydrating. Matt, Carrie, Hannah, how many did you guys get? Let me know. Fifteen seconds before our burpees. Whew. This is where I'm going to hate myself. So if you drop some I hate you's in the comments, I understand. All right, kettlebell swings, come on. Six of them. Hinge, thrust your hips forward, keeping your core tight, engaging your hamstrings and your glutes, right? And six, bicycle crunches for 12. Matt got three again. Awesome job, man. And 12. Woo! And burpees. Six of them, not 24. <laughs> all the way down. All the way up. Back to the six swings. We are two and a half minutes. If one kettlebell is too easy, grab a second one, widen your stance. If it's too hard, do a standard deadlift, okay? 12 bicycles, flexing through that entire motion, right? If that's too hard on you, don't go out as far. Or do your bird dog that we talked about at the beginning. Six burpees. Up and back down. Woo! anyway awesome control 12 bicycles seconds left you guys six burpees at least get those done or I'll try one more 
Starting on those swings for the last 20. Six, five seconds left. Uh, buzz. I gave up there, I'm sorry. How was that round, you guys? That was it. Whew. Grab a drink. Um, almost completed three. Awesome job, Carrie. Ah, for, whew. That's awesome. That's really good. Whew. Make sure you grab a drink. Those burpees suck. seconds. Let your heart rate come down a bit. Let me know how many you did. Okay. And that's it. Those are our AMRAPs, guys. I wasn't so bad. I think I was pretty easy on you today. <laughs> About two and a half was starting on your fourth. Matt, killing it. Carrie, man, you guys did so good. Kick my butt, that's for dang sure. That's fantastic. All right, hopefully you guys grab some water. Heart rates are starting to come back down. Um, make sure you're breathing. Nice big diaphragm breaths, right? Not chest breathing. Doesn't help you recover as fast, right? Yeah, heart rate's coming back down. Now that the workout's done, you can tell me how many you got. If you're still doing it anyway. All right. We're going to cool down. Okay. So I want you to find a spot on the wall. We did some hopping, right? So we want to stretch out those uh, calf muscles. Yesterday was our 5K run for running day. Some of you may have done that. Again, you're probably a little stiff from that. I know I was today. So just stretch those calves off of a wall. Obviously you can't see me if I do, so I'm using a kettlebell. Just lean into it. You can bend your knee and lean into it. It hits different calf muscles. There's two back there that you can try and stretch, depending on knee straight or knee bent. Make sure you're getting both of those. Nice little stretch. It sucked, but still love you. Love you too. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed it, hopefully, <laughs> even though it sucked. All right, we're gonna work our way to the floor here. Stretch our hammies out, leg out nice and straight, reaching for your toes. Nice big breaths again, right? And then our other side. We're doing good for time. Like I said, 40 minutes. I'll have you guys in under the wire. Make sure not to take up too much of your uh, Thursday. Okay? Stretch out your hips. We did a lot of hip flexor stuff, so we're really going to stretch those out. Your groin area from all those burpees and crunches and squats. Okay, chest up nice. Lean in a little, drop those knees to the floor. Again, nice deep breaths here. Feeling good. Okay, you're gonna go into a front kneeling position. Okay, just like so. Going to engage your core, engage your glutes. Lean forward, feel a stretch in that front hip flexor. Again, nice deep breaths. If you want a deeper stretch, you can do a little PNF, so you're gonna lean off, you're gonna push that shin, that back shin into the floor as hard as you can. You're gonna feel it engage your quads and your hip flexor. Then you're gonna release that, and you're gonna lean in a little bit more. So basically what that does is it adds tension, and then your body's like, oh hey, I can actually go a little bit further in that stretch. You're gonna do it again, and then leaning in a little more. Really stretching those hip flexors. Like I said, you got a little tight, probably from all those squats. 
A lot of us are working from home, it means sitting a little more than normal. So you want to make sure those are nice and loose, right? At least till we get back to work. <sighs> Pushing that back shin in for a couple seconds, couple deep breaths, and then lean in. Really feeling a nice, good stretch. And one more time here. Um, we're going to stretch your glutes. So here you can either do the forward and twist. Um, I don't find that one stretches my glutes as much, but some people that's perfect. I'm going to do a pigeon pose. That's your other option. Just really feel a nice stretch. It also feel a nice stretch in your hip flexors again, again as well. So kind of hitting two birds with one stone with this one. Making sure you're taking those deep breaths. Your heart rate should be pretty well down now. Feeling pretty good. I'm gonna switch sides. Really lean into her. Never notice how dirty your floor is until you're stuck watching it. Huh. <laughs> Standing quad stretch. <laughs> Again, if you need to balance on something, go for it. Otherwise, just focus on a certain spot, flex your core, plant your feet. Nice, good stretch. If you want to stretch it off of a couch, it's a good, deeper stretch. I'm just going to stick with this today. And then you're going to switch sides here. Again, if you guys got injured, if you're a calf member during today's session, please fill out a CF at 98. Just make sure you guys get that in if you did experience anything. Um, stretch your upper body, cross the body. Worked a lot of shoulders, right? And don't forget to check out the schedule. Again, it's in the comments. Wes dropped it in there. There's tons of stuff. PSP has been working really hard to bring you guys awesome workouts. Um, if you want strength, if you want core, if you want mobility, yoga, you name it, there's probably a class for it. Like, so many options. Stretch out those lats and your triceps a little. Add a little lean if you want. The other side. Okay, and then we're gonna work on your chest and your shoulders for loosening them up. Because again, that first little sequence kind of blasted you a little. So hands behind your back, push out. Feel a little stretch if you want. Add a lean in there, stretch your back as well. Kind of just feel her out, whatever works for you. Okay, keep holding that for a little bit. Then you're gonna either go off a wall and do chest stretch. Or if you wanna take it up a notch and stretch your low back a little, we're gonna do a scorpion. So you'll feel it in your chest a bit, but you're also going to feel it in your low back a little. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna be on your front. Arms are out like the cross. One leg up and scorpion. If you can touch the ground, great. If not, that's fine. And twist. Okay, if you want an extra little push away and rock. Not pushed, more in the back, more pushed, more in the chest. Okay, whatever you need, whatever your body feels it requires right now, that's what you should do. Okay, then you're gonna do your other side. Whew, back cracked, lovely. Again, if you want more chest, push your hand up. If you want more back, let relax it. Or keep alternating. Whatever your body needs. Awesome. So that is pretty much it for today. Again, uh, thank you guys for coming. Thank you for sweating with me. Really hope you enjoyed it. Next week, West will be leading us through a force specific one, Thursday, 1500 hours. Again, we alternate back and forth between cardio hit and force. Um, every Thursday, 1500. Come check us out. Come work out with us. We love it. It's a blast. 
Till next week. See you guys.